What's going on guys? Keegan here from Punisher's Paintball. I'm here per usual with Media Guide Dog. It's kind of <laughs> standard at he this point. He can't get rid of me. It's kind of bad. We're actually about to film a video for you guys that I am quite excited for. Uh, we are doing a little video on, kind of like we did with the Shocker Amp. We're going to speculate. speculation video for the Planet Eclipse LV2. If that's what they're going to call it. Yeah. So, if you guys have any other conspiracy theories or insider knowledge that you feel like sharing in the comments, please, by all means, have a discussion, start a fight. I would love to see yeah. people argue and like, lose money over this. That'd be awesome. But... I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I'll put a link in the description to the Punisher's page. You guys know where to go to get all the best gear in the game. We'll catch you after the intro. Okay, so I'm gonna open this by saying that the whole, like the thing that Planet Eclipse posted on April Fool's Day I don't think it was that much of a joke. I actually think it was a joke. The joke was that they weren't kidding. Is where uh, I'm going to Did they start post it on April Fool's Day? I believe they did. I don't believe they did. I'll verify that while Keegan gives his opening. Piece. I don't think they did. Um, as you guys may know, I love LVs. Uh, overall, one of my favorite guns ever made. Uh, there's just so much that you can do with them, so much tuning. You can make your own shot quality. You don't have to be constrained to... Uh, what the gun shoots, like a CS2. I shoot a CS2 just because of the fact that it's a plug and play gun. I don't have to worry about it, but if I want to like actually be messing with the gun a lot, I shoot an LV. I love how they feel in the hands. I love how I'm able to tune them to what I want it to be. And overall, it's just a phenomenal marker. I've always said that it would be extremely hard and difficult to take away the AT pipe on the LV. So uh, on the LV, if you've ever taken one apart, I'm not sure how many of you guys have, um, but I've taken them apart plenty of times as pretty much any other gun. Uh, the LVs are very compact. There's a lot shoved into the marker and there's just so much going on it to operate the marker that I've always said that it would be extremely hard to get rid of the AT pipe. You'd pretty much have to completely redesign the gun uh, like they did with the GO4 is I, I guess they didn't necessarily like completely redesign the gun uh, but for the LV I feel like it would be much more difficult to take away the AT pipe just because there's so much shoved into how thin of a gun it is and how small of a gun it is. As much as Joel says that it's a super large gun, it's really <laughs> not that big of a gun. I um, think they feel big in my hands, but I think it's also people have that perception because it's a stack tube gun. Yeah. They're just not used to it being, it's not actually taller, but it is perceived taller. Yeah. And so I've always said that it would be extremely difficult to get rid of the AT pipe, like I said. Um, and uh, I think that's really the that'd be the biggest difference. Yeah, that pretty much would be all they changed. They already fixed the solenoid to make it so that you can rebuild it, which is amazing. Changed mm -hmm. the shot a little bit, but uh, really the only other thing that they can change with the marker at this point until like some more technology comes out is getting rid of the AT pipe. And people were kind of expecting that with the one drop of the 1.6, and mm -hmm. they did it. Um, they which did not. was huge. All they really changed was the solenoid, which was a huge change. Don't yeah, get me still, wrong. That's, that puts way more power in the consumer's yes. hand. You know, like you don't. How much is it for a new solenoid, Keegan? One hundred and sixty bucks. Yeah, I know because I've done it. <laughs> He's done it. UG just did redo it on his uh, Frank Ocean. Or no, you sold the Frank Ocean. Yeah, I sold the Frank Ocean, got the Ronin. Okay. Uh, well, I had both of them at the same time, but then sold the Frank Ocean. Gotcha. Uh, and Either so, way, he knows that life. Yeah, it's expensive. It's not cheap. You have to be careful with it if you leave it for too long, which is what happened with mine. I got mine with 7,000 original shots on it, but it was left for too long without being shot, so the solenoid went bad. And there's so many variables to how the solenoid can go bad. So it was a huge thing when they came out with the 1.6 that people were kind of overlooking the fact that you could rebuild the solenoid. Everyone's complaint with the marker was always, oh, you can't rebuild the solenoid. The solenoids go bad mm -hmm. and they're expensive. That's not there anymore. And it was a huge thing with the 1.6, but people were expecting it to be uh, a whole a overhaul whole, of the gun. Right? Yeah, they, they were, were just going to get rid gun. of the AT pipe, which it, it, for me, when I hear like 1.6 or like 1.5 or anything like that, it's not like major changes that they're making. Nope. Did you see like a major change between the CS1 and the CS1.5? Yeah, there was minor changes, but there wasn't anything massive that they changed with the marker. But then you go to like, uh, I want to say like the CS1.5 uh, versus like a CS2, technically the same line. They did a lot more than just change the gun. They 
Well, they did a lot more than just minor changes. They, <laughs> they used a whole different bolt system. <laughs> redid the gun, and it's not the same gun anymore. A whole different trigger, a uh, lot of things. But how about this, the CS2 to the CS2 Pro? CS2 to the CS2 Pro, very minor changes. Uh, Mostly aesthetics, just different milling. Yeah, different milling, different barrel front. Uh, kind of changed up some minor stuff that the CS2 had uh, problems with. Uh, and just fix the gun. They didn't change anything internally or no. anything like that. If you pick both up and shot them, it feels the same. Yeah, they feel exactly the same. And so, uh, hearing like 1.6 or like 1.5 to 1.6, you shouldn't expect a huge change. No. They did make a huge change. People just overlooked it because it wasn't an aesthetic change. Right. It's it, it's a change that is bigger for the long term yeah. th than it is for releasing a whole new line of gun. Now, as far as this new LV platform, yeah. stuff that I've seen is people like, there was the thing with like they were going to be like, mesh with J4 or whatever, it's going to be the LVS. It's all the internet speculation. There's that video that's out there with that, that infamous little screenshot that I'll put up here as we talk about it for a bit, where they take like grip tape, kind of, or like tape in general, yeah. wrap up the front grip, and they and it very much looks like they made a fake AT pipe. It literally you can see looks it's kind of like <laughs> they had like a stick and then just taped it on. And that tape, don't get me wrong, that tape is very kind of unique to Planet of being their test guns. They mm -hmm. used it for... Uh, the team is a factory team. They're a factory PE team. It, they, well, they used it like when Jack Woods is testing the guns at the field, they always tape up the guns like that. For some reason, they've done it with all of them, to my knowledge. They did it for the recent drop. And so it's just kind of easy to tell when they are coming out with a new gun. Mm -hmm. Now, it did look like an LV, it did look like the AT pipe was just fake. You can literally see the things like it's bent like, in yeah. half and it's not like an actual AT pipe. No. And it had a CS1 or GO4 front Four grip, grip on it, and which I hate, but. I, I'm not a fan of that shape either. I'm gonna say this. Did the trigger guard itself not look a little like thicker, chunkier? It, it did. looked a little different. It did. I, I didn't spend a whole time looking at the picture, but it definitely seemed different. Like they could have changed. I would have liked to see. Um, I didn't actually like zoom into the. Uh, I might even be able to pull it to up the for you ASA or anything like that. Because if they were going to change it, what they would do, and I can almost bet on this, is that they would, like all their other guns. Here you go, buddy. You can't see the ASA yeah, in this photo because the, the player's glove is covering it. Um, AT pipe definitely looks fake. It could have just been something where they just taped it really thick to look like it, or just made a grip to fit it, just mm -hmm. as like a joke or something like that. But it looks bent, doesn't look like the AT pipe is in the correct place. Uh, it's definitely a uh, GO4 front grip on there. The trigger guard is different. It definitely, now that I'm really looking into this, that is definitely a different trigger guard. And like I was saying, if they were going to change it and if they were going to make something different to get rid of the AT pipe, they would have to do it like all their other guns where it goes straight tank, ASA, regulator goes straight up through the ASA and the air goes through. They would have to do that. And then they would have Batteries to put the, the battery in the front grip. It'll which, probably be double A's because that's the yeah. LV was their last gun really that was taking. No, it's their last Ethi, high end. Ethi, yes, yeah, I'm sorry. the Ethi still has them. Um, so of their high end markers, it is. Uh, it's still, the next one to yeah. switch over. Yeah. So overall, um, is it a possibility? Yes. Could it just be playing it, playing a dirty joke on us? I don't think it's that guy. Yes, look, but put me on record. So. It's coming. LV two or LVS. I'm not sure what they're going to call it. Or I think it's coming. Else. You know what'll be the net? Here, wait, Keegan, do you know if we're still able to purchase LV 1.6s mm -hmm. like from, okay. So if it is coming, it's probably a little ways off because something that manufacturers will do when it's time to release a new gun, they will deplete the stock they have of whatever the previous model is to make room for the new incoming uh, yeah. uh, product to move. Yeah, so overall, uh, like I said, it could happen, it could not, don't take our exact words for, this is a speculation video yeah however i am firm that i think it's happening <laughs> do i want it to happen yes not with the cs4 or a geo4 front grip but <laughs> uh a lot of people do like that grip yeah and uh it could be a very likely possibility that they are doing that they it's gotta something, go with what the people want man. yeah everyone wants the at pipe gone uh and it would be a pretty big thing having it gone it's never been something that's annoyed me but uh, a lot of people, it's a big thing that prevents them from getting the marker. I've always been curious about the Ego platform. I've always kind of wanted to get one. Like, I am definitely more of a shocker guy, but 
I don't know, man. I, I think they're cool. It'd be cool to own one just for the, the sake of like the legacy of it. I do know that our, our buddy, Rad Dad Chad, is going to pick one up if they drop that because he is nothing but ego, Planet Eclipse. He is absolute fan of all of that. So, <laughs> you know, we know. But, guys, let us know what you think, what intel you have, what other conspiracy theories you guys might have. I would love to hear from all of you. I'll put a link in the description to the Punisher's page. You guys know where to go to get all the best gear in the game. We will see you guys in the next one.